Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video I'll show you how to uh, remotely play Xbox games if you have a Windows 10 uh, PC or a laptop. And this is my Xbox one that's running on my uh, television and to enable the, uh, this it's very simple you have to just make some uh, settings go to the settings and go to all settings and here uh, by default you will be on the account go to the preferences pane and here make sure that the smart glass is enabled and again go to this option that is game and dvr and make sure uh, all these are check mark so that is the thing that you have to do and what we'll now do is actually we will try to actually play this uh, game on my windows 10 computer i have the surface tablet over here let's just log into that let me do that and i'm just going to boot to it and this will work with any Windows uh, 10 based uh, PC that you have. Uh, so don't worry. Uh, let me just log on to the surface. And uh, let me just, uh, just let me just zoom in. Let me show you. Let's just get out of all the applications. Uh, I'll close all, minimize. And you have to just invoke the Xbox option. Uh, if it's not installed, you can obviously install this uh, directly from the uh, Microsoft Store. It's a free app. Just install the Xbox, not the Smart Glass. So just invoke that one. And it'll take a couple of seconds to launch. And again, you have to make sure that your second screen, that is this tablet or a laptop, and your gaming console is on the same network. Uh, this is obviously on Wi Fi. And my Xbox is uh, connected uh, via Ethernet, but it can also be connected wirelessly. Microsoft suggests that. Uh, ideally it should be a wired connection uh, but I'm using Wi-Fi AC and it's uh, working fine for me and this can take a couple of seconds to launch so be uh, patient and as you can see it's connected now and uh, what I will now do is uh, you have to just go to this option that is connect to your Xbox and uh, it should uh, actually uh, detect your Xbox over here and you have to just hit this stream option and now it will try to connect to your Xbox and as it says it's connected but now I don't have a controller connected to my uh, Surface Pro tablet. Uh, you can just use a USB to micro USB cable and use the Xbox One controller itself so I'm going to do that now and it should detect as you can see the tablet has detected that so I can hit continue and now I'm connected so whatever I see on this tablet let me just zoom out will be visible on the television also. Uh, so let me do one thing. Let's just go back and let's just get out of this. Uh, let's try to play some games. For example, let's try to play Titanfall. And uh, I'm just connecting. And the audio is also being played via this. Now my TV is sh shut off. For example, let's let me just load this game. So as you can see, I'm connected now and uh, let me just uh, go back also. As you can see, whatever I do on this uh, is seen on the television also. And you can play it. Uh, I actually, I'm going to show you that also. I'll play one more game uh, and I'll uh, pick up this uh, Surface Pro 4 and go in another room, which is about 25 feet away from me. And you can play. And as you can see, this is a FPS game and it is very easy to play with this one there is no lag whatsoever again you have to make sure your wi-fi network is fast i'm using the wi-fi ac it also works on wi-fi n so again you again it's ideal to have wi-fi ac because it has higher bandwidth but uh, but i've heard that it works even fine with wi-fi ac support uh, sorry wi-fi n band so let me just get out of this as you can see let me just zoom into this uh, surface and as you can see it's working fine even on this surface and you can obviously switch off your tv let me now just move out of this game and let me show you with other games also uh, so as you can uh, see i brought this uh, uh, surface tablet uh, in my bedroom and this is almost about uh, 25 feet away from the uh, xbox one console about two rooms away and uh, before the I show you the gaming and still it's connected to our Xbox one as you can see you can stop the streaming uh, there are a few more options and if you hit this uh, button over here let me just bring this tablet uh, nearby 
and this focus and if you click here uh, you can actually see the bandwidth graph so gives you an idea about uh, how much bandwidth it's uh, consuming and you can also control that if you go to extreme uh, by default it will be at medium I don't know why Microsoft does that and uh, the resolution was not very clear and medium or low um, but I've kept it on very high and it's working perfectly for me on very high so again you can play around uh, that for uh, the clarity I would say uh, let's try to invoke one more game for example this Forza and again this is the bandwidth graph you can enable it or disable it I've noticed that the max it touches is about 20 megabit and average is around 15 megabit for me even at the very high setting so if you have a very good uh, n-based router or a wi-fi ac router it should work perfectly fine so this is forza motorsports so let's just play this uh, game and it's a racing game so we'll know if we have any latency so starting forza motorsports and i've just enabled this uh, graph you don't have to enable it you can obviously disable it and i'm starting the game i'm actually playing it now as you can see and just notice the graphics there is no drop down in the graphics and in fact i would say the experience is as good as i was just sitting in front of my console so as you can see it's working very well and even i get the vibrations and stuff on this uh, controller as i'm using the xbox one controller itself i've also heard that you can even use xbox 360 controllers if you have them lying around you can just connect it to your pc and regarding the technical specs uh, of the pc uh, you actually don't need to uh, have very high specs pcs because the game is still being run on the xbox one console it's just being streamed to this remote pc and regarding the technical specs uh, according to microsoft uh, uh, you just need a PC uh, that has a dual core processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz with 2 gigabytes of RAM and that should be fine. Uh, I'm using the Surface uh, Pro 4 and uh, it's the Core i5 variant that I'm using that has just 4 gigabytes of RAM and as you can see it's running it actually very well and uh, again the graphics are excellent I have to say as you can see. So if you have the Xbox One and you have a Windows 10 PC or a laptop lying around, uh, give this a try. I have to say it is working very well. So let's just get out of this game now and uh, I'll just quit that and uh, hit the Xbox One button. As you can see, you can just get, uh, get out of the game and you can even actually shut off your Xbox directly from here. If I hit this turn console off it will shut off the console and obviously you can turn off the streaming if you would like uh, so again this was a quick demo of the remote play functionality on the xbox one i hope you found this uh, video helpful thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video